We've got a warrant to search these premises. I don't want any trouble now. Mum! Dad! The Rosses are here! Again! Where's my... Well, egg and bacon in the fridge, you know the stove is. Well, where's Lisa? She's had to go to the factory early, catch up on an order or something. She could have cut me brekkie first. Go do it yourself, you lazy beggar! Would you two put a sock in it? Who rattled your cage? I can't find my muse. Hmm? Where did you last see it, sweetheart? I'm trying to write a pantomime. I've decided to put a Christmas play on at the village hall. Oh, yeah? It's about Cinderella. And it's not going to be any of that nonsense where Prince Charming saves the day. This is going to be the feminist version. Now, don't make it obvious, all right? I'll do it. No, he'll have to chaz us somehow. <gasps> no kidding. <sighs> I'm it, Chaz. You know, I should write my own play. Then none of this mucking about would happen. I'm not having that woman play happy families with my child, making out I can't look after her. You can. You're working. Yeah, well, I'll take the day off work. No, I don't want to stay here. I want to go see Auntie Rosemary. She is not your auntie. She doesn't do look like a member of this family. No, she's too well dressed. Well, no. Now, your mum's right. Be a good girl. See you later. OK. Say you laid a tenner on Drake's Manor, 16 to 1, in the 4.15. How much would you win? Each way on the nose. To win? I'd probably go for spring chicken, cos I like the name. Ah, uh, right. OK. Look, 15 pounds on spring chicken at 5 to 2 each way. Can we do some maths that isn't based on horse racing, do you think? Hmm? Uh, yeah, OK, all right. Uh, <coughs> right, say you caught uh, four carp. Now, your first one weighs six pounds, your second one, double that, third one, double, and so on. Now, what is the total weight of fish you caught that day? What kind of bait? Hmm? What kind of bait? Uh, well, that doesn't matter, does it? Could we try it as a subject? Like what? Er, uh, history. Ah, no. The subject close to my heart. Who won the Grand National in 1973? I'm going to read a book instead. You promised. If we bought you a duck, you'd have a bath. I'm not ready yet. How about I give you a duck race? You can't have a proper duck race in the bath. If you want a real duck race, we could have one outside. Yeah, but you're only suggesting that to get out of having a bath. Still, might be a bit of fun. Tony? All right, I'll make you a deal. We'll race, and if my duck beats yours, then you have a bath, no questions. What if my duck beats yours? Then you don't have to have a bath, and I'll buy you a chocolate bar. King size? Any size you want. You're really going to have a duck race with a six-year-old? I'm seven. You better make sure you beat her. <laughs> well, are we going to be biscuits or are we going to go without them as well? Oh, I'm sure they'll run to biscuits. Come on. I thought there should be a greater incentive than a measly bar of chocolate. So, the winner gets free drinks all evening on the losing participants. I don't want no smelly drinks. I'll have yours if you win. Right, and if you play your cards right, young lady, I might agree to appear in your production. Leading role, of course. Oh, I think a decision like that's up to Belle. What do you say? Um, I say that you have to audition like all the other hopeful people. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to come through. <laughs> Not you, Belle. Oh, but I want to hear what you're going to say about us. Less of your name. I've done nothing wrong. I shall be accepting the fruits of my victory shortly in the wool pack. Go get the ducks. No. Go get the ducks. Oh, glue. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is heavy. Heavy? So Francis is a ringer. If he cheated, he should be disqualified and I should win. Too right. 
I didn't know what Nanny Card meant. It wasn't hard to switch off, so I didn't think it was important. Who needs education, eh? I got by without. I had brains when I was a nipper, but I let them slip away. Ah, oh, we all know where they slipped. You spend half your life sitting on them. They're in your bum. <laughs> <laughs> Dad? Mm hmm Can we do something? Eh? Hey, I'm busy. From it, Telly. When are you going to give me my lesson? You what? I miss school. You said you'd be teaching mm. me from home. Hmm? Yeah, not yet. It's holidays, isn't it? <laughs> In the new year. Hey, hey! You can have it back after my lesson. <laughs> well, you know you've been going on for ages about how you want to open your Christmas presents early. Well, yeah, I know. Obviously, I'm very curious. I want to know as soon as possible what you've all got me. On the other hand, I want to save until the actual day to avoid the anticlimax. This way you can. Ow! The presents you're going to be opening won't be yours. You thinking of all the ones under the tree in the wall? Bingo. <laughs> yeah, what of effort to go to just for some electrical screwdrivers and a few key rings. Uh, and a solid silver bracelet. Yeah, and guess which ones I'll be getting. No, you do this with me. We split it even. 70-30. 50-50? Oh, I'm telling Dad what you're planning. Oh, you've done me like a kipper, haven't you? Deal. But why do I have to go to Marlowe's? Because Alice needs a bit of peace and quiet. If I were dying, I wouldn't want to be quiet. Me neither, Squirt. When my time comes, I want to go out with a bit of noise. What sort of noise? I don't know. Maybe a big party with some fireworks, what do you think? Yeah, fireworks, cool! See, the thing is, though, Alice gets to choose. She wants quiet, so she gets quiet. Can I have to stay at Marlowe's? Yeah, but you can wrap him round your little finger, can't you? Is there any chance of some service? Of course I can. If I were you, I'd make his life a complete misery. This is really bad, Belle. I'm sorry. What on earth possessed you? I need some money, you know, to buy my family some presents. Presents bought with ill-gotten gains. Don't, don't worry, Alan. We're going to punish her for this. So. Jolly well, I hope so. Belle? Shadrach made me do it. He said that I'd get no presents if I didn't help him. You know, I'm really, really sorry, Paddy, and I'll never do anything like it again. Apology accepted. Can I go now, you know, to think about what I've done? Visitor. Hey, here you are. Hello. Welcome. It's boring here. Boring? What? No, this is like the best sleepover ever. Isn't it? Yeah. Of course it is. You can watch loads of telly and that. I can do that at home. And I'll cook some great food. My mum cooks great food. You two, shut it. This is girls' talk. All right. What can we do here that you can't do at home? No one ever plays games with me at home. Games? Yeah, games. We can, we can do games. You know what? I, I can feel a games marathon coming on. Have fun. I will. What would you do if you found a £20 note? If I found a £20 note? I think that was for me. No question. Right, so... It depends whose it was. Jimmy King, I'd pocket it for sure. Uh, Diane, I'd give it back. Well, depends how, how skin to was, actually. <gasps> Wrong. <laughs> What's your surname? Hey, you no, know I think there might be two white sheep in the family. Lord knows I'm not the type of person to bear a grudge. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, really. Do you think you'll be looking after me for very long? I shouldn't think so. Not too long. So it won't be long till Alice dies then? Very sad, that, isn't it? Yeah, but mostly it's sad for Sam and Samson. Yeah, it is. And if you want to talk to me about it any time, then I'm here, darling, OK? OK. And if you want to talk about it, I'm here too. Right, well, come on, what have you got to say for yourself? What's that for? For the sweets. What sweets? The ones I took from here earlier. You what? 
Dear Mrs. Hub, my mum says I have to apologise to you properly, so I have written down what I have to say. First vandalism, then theft. This is knowing right from wrong, is it? This is you using your superior parenting skills, is it? I'm sure she's learnt her lesson. Go on, Belle. I am very sorry for stealing a packet of sweets from your shop. It was very bad of me and I promise not to do it again. Oh, very heartfelt, I'm sure. She meant it, I'm sure. Now, come on. Is there any more? Yeah. Oh, well, go on then. I know now you are a very kind lady and will forgive me because I do not think you are the silly deluded cow that my mum says you are. What? Belle! Oh, I don't. Well, just wait till I get you home. It do I have to call you Miss Thomas or Ms? No, Jasmine's fine. Yeah. I'm sure that Vivian didn't no! have any harm. No, no, she did! Her. She no, 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 I said enough! Your daughter apologised to Mrs. Holt and then called her an old cow. <laughs> yes. A deluded cow, actually. It's not fair. Why do I have to be the damsel in distress? You said I could play any game I wanted. And if we're playing princesses, someone has to be rescued from the evil witch. Yeah, I know, but what? Oh, oh, why can't Tony do it? Because I've never been the distressed type. She makes a better witch. <laughs> Just get on with it, Marlon. Soon you start crying for help, soon you can rescue you. <sighs> help, help, help. Oh! <laughs> Oh, have we gone out to check him? Uh, gold's good, frankincense is just weird, and mer's so last year. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Shadrach, a Japanese poem by Bell and Dingle. <clears throat> he gulps cheap beer lots, and much bad wind follows fast. Drunk old man. Oh! <laughs> what on earth was that? A haiku. Um, uh, uh, what, what? A word picture in three lines. All our own work. Oh, I'm dead proud. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I've got a poem. Uh, Mary had a little lamb. She thought he was quite silly. So she chucked him up in the air and caught him by his <laughs> two mouth. Number one, statue. OK? What? Statue. There you are. Spell statue. Oh, do I have to? Yes, yeah, spell. It's a spelling test. I say words, you spell them. Forget it, can't be bothered. What? Alfie! Uh, Belle, where are you going? Outside. Hey! Uh, this is the Home Education Inspector. Janet Mitchum. How do? Uh, well, have a seat. Uh, off, 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 mm. off. Mm. Um, <clears throat> oh, and that's our Belle. And this is Jasmine, the young lady we've engaged to tutor her at home. Hello, Belle. Say hello, Belle. Hi. Can I please go outside now? It's doing my head in here. <laughs> I'll tell you what, um, how about we go down to the shop? We can work out the prices of things for your last lesson. Oh, flipping hell. <gasps> Come on, Flower, what's the matter? I don't want you to die, Dad. I'm not going to die, love. What makes you think that? I missed it, and that man did Mr King. I saw him fall from the window and he was dead. And you don't come back when you're dead. And our Alice, she's in the graveyard. And I keep up these dreams that you're gonna die. Hey, up half pint, when's that personal tutor of yours coming again, eh? Why'd you want her? Because he fancies it. You have no chance, mate. So why she keep giving me eye then? She must be skin eyed if she does. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to the swings. I'm busy. Do me what? Counting my fingers. You'll take me, won't you? Bring Samson. I can't, he's poorly. What's wrong with him? He needs some fresh air. He doesn't. He's snivelly. Yeah, like the rest of you, you rotten lot. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hiya, Sam. How's Samson? What did Dr. Abbott say? She, she's not fit with a locust. Welcome. I just told Petal that I dreamt of Alice in heaven and she was all happy and smiley. And her hair had grown back long and curly. 